In August, Rewa.com data shows it took a medium of 21 days to lease a property in Greater Perth, which is 13 days less than the same time last year, making it the quickest time to lease since the construction phase of the last mining boom in February 2015. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter, find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So Rewa President Damien Collins said strong demand in the rental market continued into August, which recorded improvements to the median rent price, listing volumes, and days to lease. From an individual suburb level, Maddington was the fastest suburb to lease in August, making a, uh, taking a medium of seven days to lease, which was closely followed by Armadale with nine days, Coolbluff and Wanneroo with 10 days, and Secret Harbour with 11 days, Mr Collins said. The median rent has remained stable at $360 per week. However, houses increased $10 per week to $380, and with Perth's vacancy rate sitting at 1.6%, we can expect to see continued upward pressure on rents in the coming months. A closer look at the data shows four out of five Perth suburbs experienced an improved or stabilised median rent price with Perth, Ellenbrook, Hamilton Hill, Bentley and Scarborough, the top five performers. The high demand for rentals has seen rental stock on Rewa.com fall 10% uh, compared to July, with just over 3,000 properties for rent on Rewa.com at the end of August. And based on present levels of inquiries, we expect to see stock, uh, stock levels to decline further in September, once again coming from Mr Collins. CoreLogic's latest home value index shows dwelling values in Perth stabilised in August, with, with detached house prices increasing while units fell. Mr Collins said although overall prices had remained stable in the Perth region, Rewa.com data shows 45% of suburbs experienced an increase in the median sale price. Mr Collins said Kelmscott saw the biggest increase to its median in August with a 5.4% increase to $320,000, which was followed by Riverton up 3.9%, Duncraig up 3.7%, Piara Waters up 3.6% and Caramar up 3.4%. Interestingly, three of the top five suburbs had a median sale price under Perth's median of $475,000. And it suggests that people are taking advantage of properties in Perth that are priced at the lower end of the market. Listings for sale were also down in August with only 10,627 properties for sale on Rewa.com, which is 1.2% lower than July and almost 25% lower than this time last year. Mr Collins said in the last few months, sales activity has been particularly strong due to the various government bonus schemes. So it is only natural as the interest around the stimulus ease we saw activity in August decrease compared with July. The suburb that saw the biggest improvement in sales were Stirling, Shenton Park, Fremantle, Bayswater and Aluka. It certainly appears that Greater Perth and in fact the, uh, a large part of Western Australia has escaped the COVID-19 induced property slowdown and given the high levels of demand and limited supply, we may even see prices rise later in 2020. Well guys, that's it from me today. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week guys and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.